Now, I forgot to point out the background of that had some animated clouds, but, but that's not what we mean by cloud. We have a lot more ideas for cloud technology. Uh, in fact, we even have some ideas on how you can leverage FPGAs with the cloud. So to tell us a little more about that, I'd like to introduce Michael Truchard, Charles Calapati, and Aaron Pena. All right, guys, what do you got for us? FPGAs rock, from biomedical or industrial apps to the CERN Large Hydron Collider. LabVIEW FPGA remains the best way to tackle complex problems that require intense hardware calculations. However, compiling code that could be burned on an FPGA chip is a time-consuming process. Many developers rely on fast development machines to assist them in their compilations, but their development machines and their productivity can grind to a quick halt when they hit that compile button. Just to give you an idea, some of our customers have compilations that take upwards to 20 to 30 hours in duration. Today's model looks like this. Developers compile, uh, developers develop and compile on, on one machine. However, with the LabVIEW 2010 platform release, we're releasing a new product called the FPGA Compile Farm. It will allow you and your team to develop software, to develop code and deploy it onto a server and have it compiling on several computers. Rather than having one worker, rather than having one machine do your compilations, we've created software that allow many computers to compile you and your team's projects all simultaneously. Workers can come online and go offline dynamically and be configured based on their hardware capability. All right, cool. So I think this is your compile uh, server farm right here, right? So uh, we got a demo? That's correct, John. Over here, we have, some exist we have LabVIEW 2010 configured with some existing FPGA projects. These projects all need to be compiled before they could be burned onto an FPGA chip. Rather than compile the projects locally on a single machine, we're going to configure this machine to send the compiles to this FPGA compile farm server. Over here, we have two workers configured to do FPGA compilations, outfitted with indicator lights to show whether they're compiling. Go ahead, Michael, and submit the jobs. As Michael submits these three projects, the server sees them, and then the workers will automatically start taking those projects and start compiling them. The indicator lights come on, showing that the worker is actually working on compiling those projects, alleviating Michael's machine to do other things. However, with that third job, you see that it's in a pending state because there are no existing workers to do that job. Using the new web-based compile farm console utility, you could monitor, control, and even reprioritize existing requests. Over here, you see that we have two working jobs and one pending job. Okay, so you could set up a farm like this for a whole team of developers, but when you get too many jobs queuing up, you can just throw more hardware at it? Absolutely, John. In fact, I have a third worker right over here. Oh, and it even has a light on it. That's right. And what we're going to do is just plug it in and see what happens. One of the beauty things about the FPGA compile farm is its scalability. In fact, I could take many computers and throw them at this thing, and it'll all work, they'll all work together to compile all the projects you throw at it. All the comp compilations happen in-house, keeping you in control. All right, cool. So I can see how this can save a lot of time. Um, but I also, when I hear people talk about server farms, I start to get a little worried. For some of our customers, that may mean a lot of cost. So, you know, buying computers, security, networking. The next thing you know, you're going to have some IT guys sniffing around, and nobody wants that. Um, <laughs> Now, Michael, you're actually one of these IT guys that we don't like, so uh, <laughs> why don't you tell us a little more about your background? Thanks, John. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been uh, working at uh, National Instruments uh, for 14 years now in the IT department. I've been doing security, uh, web architecture, and database systems for our, our sales systems and website. So NI.com is a pretty serious operation, so uh, that's impressive. But you've recently been transplanted into the LabVIEW R&D team. That's right. Um, now I'm working in the LabVIEW team, and we're looking at ways we can uh, uh, combine the power of our LabVIEW platform with emerging web and cloud technologies. And today, I'm pleased to announce a beta for 2010 called the FPGA Compile Cloud Service. With this service, uh, National Instruments provides the servers um, for the worker 
workers and the farm for your comp compilations. And we take care of all this management so that you don't have to find IT guys like me to set it all up. All right, cool. Okay, let's take a look at how this works. Okay, it's a simple configuration change within LabVIEW. You go into FPGA module options. Uh, you select the FPGA compile cloud service within there. Enter your user account information and you're set to go. Okay, Charles, let's uh, run some compiles. So these uh, compiles that he's running now are all being submitted up to the cloud. Uh, a worker machine is being allocated there. The work is running on that worker machine. Uh, it's the same thing that we've got in a desktop lab view with the same projects, but all the work's being done in the cloud. Okay, cool. You just fire up a dialog and point it at the cloud. Looks pretty easy, but what differences are there between compiling on a set of machines like this versus the cloud? Well, in, in the cloud, we do certain optimizations for you. Um, we uh, optimize for different types of compiles, and we also set up the OS so that your work is the only thing being done on that particular working, uh, worker machine. We've got an OS image that we dynamically spin up new workers on demand so that we can reduce the cost um, of this, all these servers. Uh, so we handle all, all this optimization for you. All right, now you've said we a lot. So are you saying that we have a whole bunch of awesome computers back at NI that we're renting out for our customers? Not exactly. Um, there are big companies, you know, like uh, Microsoft and Google and, and Amazon and Rackspace, and they're setting up these massive server farms across the globe. Uh, by doing that, they're bringing down the cost of uh, computing and the cost of disk storage and making it much, much easier to manage servers. They're also looking at uh, areas like security with uh, government and defense industries. Um, and what we're doing is we're leveraging these cloud infrastructure technologies and building our software on top of that. 